What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Nick here today, and today I gotta close my door because my dogs will get out. But what I want to do is show you guys a little something, something. I got a new fish. I hope he doesn't die. So I hope my pH is good and stuff. Um, <laughs> okay, so what I did is I come over her. Oh my, I got a whole bunch of new goldfish for the big boys. But, uh, um, I gotta show you guys some. I got a plectonomus. I think that's how you say it. Not a clown pleco. An actual plectonomus, her. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anything. Stomach's really empty, apparently. If you guys are wondering what zooms in so good, it's my actual phone. That's how good this camera is. You see all that algae up there? Mm -mm. I should probably be like more in there, but hopefully that will do very good. Hopefully he'll do very good. And when he was actually in the bag, acclimating up there, I hope I said that right, acc acc acclimating or something like that, um, he tried to nip at it, and I let it down, and it went down here. He nipped at it again, and they both kind of circled them, so I to like scare the bluegill and bass away. But uh, they seem to be doing fine. Hopefully my catfish don't get it. Let me see his whiskers over there. Because, uh, you know, they're not used to seeing Pletko, so. Um, I dropped this dude in there. There he goes, he grabbed it. Alright, let me see how much bigger he got. Um, yeah, he looks small in person. And my bass looks pretty small in person. But, ever since I got him, especially, um, he's gotten pretty big. So has my bass. And my catfish, FYI. Because um, my catfish was the first one I actually had, and then my bluegill was second, and then my bass was third. But my bass is doing relatively well, so is my bluegill. They're all doing really good, but obviously Coco wants a worm. So hold on. Shake. Those are good girls. Let's see if she'll take it now. <laughs> she always sits right here. And watches me feed them. Mm -hmm. but. I think I fed them too much. All right. Well, I guess that's it then. Um, as you can see, my tank is really dirty. Um, I cleaned it not too long ago either. But there's algae building up everywhere because I have this on like 24/7. So that's why um, it's always algae here. That's why there's always algae building up really quickly. Um, but hopefully he'll clean to the job. You see the rocks down there, really full of algae. So now I'm, I'm actually going to turn this off right here. I don't need it on right now. But um, that's also why there's so much algae is because I have that on during the day, like all the time. As soon as I wake up, turn it on, and then I turn it off when I go to bed. But yeah, that's why there's so much algae. Um, see if I come over here, see if my bass wants to fish. No, he does not. Um, but yeah. I'm just going to turn it off right now because I didn't realize how much algae is actually on those rocks. But I guess I could have gotten some shrimp, huh? Shrimp would have been nice. But let's hope he survives. Let's hope none of these guys eat them. Wackos eat them. So, yeah, there's just so much algae in there. But these are wild fish. I caught them. Um, they're used to stuff like this. They've been in way worse conditions. So... My bluegill ate three crickets that I got. I wish they were bigger, but, you know, that's how it goes. But, yeah, just want to show you guys my new little pet here. Tell me what I should name him, if I should name him. Um, yeah. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today. And please subscribe down below. And hit that like button. Blocking. And hit that like button, like button guys. And I'll see you guys next time.